Hello world, I'm Loy and I'm with Design Wall. Today I'm going to be going through a quick tutorial and overview of how to create a question and answer site using WordPress. In fact, questions and answers are so often sought by the user that many websites place them alongside the home page about us and search feature within the navigation bar of the site for the user. First and foremost, you need to install DWQ&A plugin. It's got over 10,000 active installs being used right now, so it's got to be pretty good, right? Users of your site will definitely appreciate having the resource readily available. Qora, Yahoo Answers, and Stack Overflow are just a few examples of how useful this feature can be. Once activated, the plugin will create two new pages on your website. DWQ&A Questions, DWQ&A Submit Questions. There are bulk actions such as edit or move to trash. You can also choose which questions will be sticky questions. That is, they stay to the top of the question page. And other information such as open, answered, resolved, closed, or unresolved. People really appreciate being able to search for the questions that they're thinking of. You'll find all types of pertinent information, such as the title of the question, the author, the category of the question, tags, comments, date. You can also add new questions. Here's the question's title. This is a new question. You can add HTML formatting in order to make the question easier to read. There's also other types of settings that you can have, such as status, open, pending, resolved, reopened, or closed. You can set the visibility to public or private, and you can also publish it. There's also a discussion option, which allows people to comment or not comment, and also allow trackbacks and feedbacks on this page, which is a way of letting WordPress know that you want information as to when and where someone uses your blog post or your website. There's also question tags, which are useful ways of tagging questions and making them easier to search for keywords. You can also choose the question categories. In this case, we have general, questions, special, or technical. But depending on the content of your website, you can add different types of question categories. Question tags are great ways to help to search and filter the questions for your user. Here's an example of how question tags will display to the user whenever they're using it. Stack Overflow has these ones, Android and Android Studio. They create a drop-down menu which will give pertinent information to the user as to the context of this question tag. People like being helpful in answering those that they can. Here we have the Answers tab. You can see the answer, the author, how many comments, and in response to what question it was being answered. Next go to the Question tabs on the left. And then on the drop down menu, select settings. Here we have the questions list page. It, types, it displays all types of different questions and you can choose all types of different settings that you want the user to have. Such as how many questions are available on the page, other question settings, answer settings, answered listings, and captcha settings. Captcha is a different way to monitor spam. It will filter out the answers depending on what settings you have. Lastly, we have extensions to DWQ&A. We have DWQ&A Markdown, DWQ&A Leaderboard, DWQ&A Captcha, DWQ&A Embed Question, DWQ&A Widgets. These are all very useful tools and they'll help to make your user experience better. Lastly, Here's an example of DWQ&A Pro. It'll give you the widgets on the right that allow you to add other types of pertinent information other than the questions which your users might like. Thanks for taking the time to view. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to stay in tune for more.